Hello, we're back on the Titanic. I'm back with you. You and me. And the chat. All alone on the Titanic. You gotta solve this mystery. We don't actually really know what the mystery is. If you remember, um, we got like a book of poetry last time. And now we have to get a painting. And the reason is, is that we're a British secret agent on the Titanic. And we are working against the interests of the German government who want this painting. And we don't know why. There's a lot, a lot about this we don't know. We know that our character failed the mission the first time they did it. And uh, we went back in time after we were killed in a, in a bombing run by the Nazis. Somehow. And maybe we have the option to change the past. So we're going to do that. We're going to load our game. Do that here. Open. And here we go. All right. So let's take a look at the time. Here we go. At the beginning of the game, this watch was broken. And we saw that the time on it was 2.20. And I looked it up. And yeah, the official time for the Titanic sinking was 2.20 a.m. It is 10.40. We don't have that much time. I don't know if this game runs in real time or what, but uh, we only have a few hours before the thing happens. Anyway, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, last time we got this telegram. The purser wants us to send it. Arrange for PM departure of cars 47. John Thayer. Doesn't seem that important, but the purser really wants us to send this. Uh, and that means we have to get to the wireless room which is over here. Fortunately, we schmoozed our way past the officer who was guarding it last time. So, we uh, should not have any trouble getting back in there. And I'm, I'm on, like, the other side of it now. But I still have to get up one more flight of stairs, right? I think I do. Let's look around. And now let's just, like, fly down the deck. I do enjoy how fast it lets us travel around. Well, nothing's going to be over there. Meow. Vroom. Okay. Up here. Okay, this is the guy who was guarding it. And then we made him laugh, so he let us in here. Okay, so there were some instructions here on how to send things. Okay, um, I'm going to do what I did last time when I got some notes. As I'm going to take a picture, as I don't think the game has like an in-game way of recording notes. So I'm just going to take the picture of this. There we go. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to click OK. So the first thing is to set the power to the sender amp to on. All right, the power. So which one of these might do that? What does that say? I'm, it has words on it, but I don't think I can really see what that says. Let me just set this to neutral. Can I, can I not set? Can I? Okay. So, I'm looking for the sender amp. Okay, this says on and off. Can I click on it? Oh. All right, that's on. I'm going to assume that that is what we needed to do. All right, power to sender amp is on. Check system breaker switch to make sure to set the transmit. That might be this. That's, I think that says trans. I think it does. Oh, yeah, trans and rec, so transmit and receive. Okay. Set tuner to correct... No, um... No, no, not that one. It was... Set, oh, yeah, set tuner to correct frequency. Well, what would the correct frequency be, do you think? What does this one say? Oh, to send a message, send tuner to 200. Okay. Uh, okay, this one. B. 
getting there. Getting there. 200. Okay. Wonder why that was on a separate note. I think that he just had that on the same note. All right. Red indicator light will blink. Yep, we did it. And then we send the message. Um, okay, so let me take this out. And can I just put it here? Will that... No, no, take that out. Take take that out. Nope. Click on that. Click on this. Do I put it somewhere? Okay, it goes there. Is there anything I should be clicking on here? Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything I can click on on this screen. It just it lets me put, let's, it lets me take this out and then put it there. No. Nope. It doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do with it. Take take it out again, please. Just okay. I don't, is, is there anywhere else I would put it? No, it just automatically goes there. If I click off the screen, then I'm off the screen. I'm just clicking everywhere, seeing if there's like some sort of interface here, but I'm not seeing it. I, mean, I can click away. What is this, by the way? Well, this has like two settings. I don't think there's anything else I can click on here. It was up, now it's down. Didn't say I needed to do that. But I guess I might as well try again. Click that, click that, okay, click that, put here. Anything? Oh. I, I am just typing, okay? I hope this is right. No slash? Well, all right. Did I do it? I don't know if I did it. Well, I typed the message as it was on the telegram. And there was nothing else here. It's like the red indicator light is blinking. Send message. And that's the only thing it said to do. And then this one said that to send message sent it to 200, which we did. I don't... These were the ones that were received... I don't think I took anything additional. There's nothing here confirming that I did it, but I don't... That, that seemed like it. 
Why don't we just save here? Um, let's go back to the purser and we'll see, we'll like say that we did it. Hello. <laughs> he's just, yes, he's just trapped you? in this box. Okay. Yes. I sent it. Good. You sent it? Marvelous. I was afraid you'd forgotten. Mr. Thayer will be most grat uh, grateful. Most gratuity? What What do you mean by that? Should I tell them? And let them think the purser's not doing his job. I am the purser, and as purser, I am the one who looks after the passengers. Mr. Thayer is vice president of the Pennsylvania Railroad, and it is I who shall inform the Thayers that their train will be waiting. So, if you'll excuse me... Now look, no one's implying you didn't do your job. You said it yourself, you were not able to send the telegram because you had to stay here because that's your job. Sir? Oh, okay. Well, this is why we wanted to... Uh, we, this, is why, <clears throat> this is why we came here in the first place. We wanted to see the cargo manifest. Can I look at it? Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm looking for a painting. Lemk and Butchner shipping. One case artwork. Painting in frame. Well, that's probably going to be it. Ooh, a film from the NY Motion Picture Company. I wonder what film it is. Anything else here of interest? I don't know if there would be. So many biscuits. Can we get in those biscuits? Well, I'm sure the Titanic uh, had some good food. Probably don't need to rob the cargo hold of, of, of the food. Many entries in this manifest. Well, I'm sure that we saw the one that we needed to see. So many walnuts. And so much wine, too. Could have a party. In this cargo hold with all this... Ch oh, man, look how many ch how much cheese there is. Man, if you, if you like cheese, you want to get in this cargo hold. Okay. So the important one... was this one. Lemk and Butchner shipping. Um... So we have that information. I guess, are we going to go looking in the cargo hold for this particular thing? Maybe. Did I, I wonder if I marked anything on the map. I don't know if we would have. Um, I wonder if we can just go talk to Penny and see what she has to say about that. Maybe she can give us some advice. I, su I assume we're going to the cargo hold to look for this painting. But I don't know that for sure. Anyone to talk to? We'd like talking to people. You? No, I can't talk to them. How about you? No, you're not even real people. We might as well take the elevator. Evening. I'm the lift attendant. And you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. We don't actually have to because we can teleport, but I mean, sure. Um... Mind the gate. It's a cold night, this. Pretty much everyone's early to bed. Makes me job that much easier. You're deck now. A couple of times they have mentioned, oh, everyone's, like, in bed, which I guess is their excuse for why, like, this ship is not packed full of people for us to talk to. What we got here? Um, this is first-class reception. Might as well take a walk through. 
Anyone uh, to have conversations with? Oh, it's you. Hello there. Didn't I see you earlier? You'll yeah. never guess who I saw earlier. The man himself, Isidore Strauss. The owner of Macy's department store standing right over there. Haymakers is a fine shop, but Macy's... Man, that's the big store. But just as I was readying myself to make an introduction, he leaves. You seen him? No, I have not seen St uh, Strauss around. But then again, I wouldn't know if I did saw him, see him. Yeah, I forgot. You ain't even in the business. Let me know if you see him, will you? All right, there were some high rollers on the Titanic. Are we going to meet any actual historical uh, people? I don't know about that. I am Colonel Zeitel with the German Imperial Army. What brings you out so late on Sunday night? When I've seen your picture, you're I'm spying on you. All right. Well, I mean, let's not let's we don't want him to know that. I've misplaced something. <laughs> I am looking for something also. A misplaced notebook. Ah, it's such a big ship. You have not seen this notebook? <laughs> I don't know anything about a notebook. Yes, but staying out so late at night, you must have some curiosity. Curiosity. In English, it kills the cat, yes? But it can also kill larger things. Stay away from German business. What business is that? Germany wants land, industries, and material, and we will fight to get it. Britain and America will try to stop this, but we will know your plans. And if there's war, Germany will win. But enough politics. <laughs> this has been such a civilized voyage so far. Let us meet tomorrow in the cafe, yes? The band? They play Strauss so well. Until then. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, time is passing, I guess. Was that a story-related conversation? Did we need to talk to him? I don't know. Well, he's gone now. Oh, what time is it? I think that's the same time as it was before. 10.40. Anyway, he's left. But, uh, you know, the night is young for us. Get to that door. No, that door is locked. Right, let's look around for something else. Anything? Oh, I can look at this painting. There it is. It's a painting. No, is that locked too? Can I not? Oh, there we go. D deck cabins. All right. So we did get out out of that hall. And now we're in the... Probably would have wanted to go to the other side of this. Can I go to the other side? I don't think I really need to be in the cabins. I would prefer... To, like... Be on this side of things. I think. It doesn't really look like there's an exit to that side. They're not really doors or anything there. We can t go up the stairs, I guess, but... But that's going to a different deck entirely, isn't it? Anyone here to talk to? It's just, like, people. Are oh, clones! You're all the same person! All right, I guess uh, maybe let's just teleport as we have done before uh, to F deck, Penny's cabin. Gonna teleport to these stairs. And uh, we're going to look for her. No, actually, I think this is where she is. Does the purser have some keys that can get you into the cargo hold? Do I don't think I, I don't know if I need keys. I've been in the cargo hold. Like, I can get there. It just goes through here. I'm not supposed to be down here, but I help this one guy with the engines, and he just lets me pass. Yeah, this guy. See, he just lets me walk by because I helped him out. 
Thanks for the help of the boss. Oh no. I don't want no passengers down here. I'd be in a right big mess if he caught you sniffing around. Well, is there anything else I could do for you? Can I go up that? I don't think I can. Nothing else you want from me? Thanks for the help of the boss. He don't want ah. no passengers. Alright. So my passage to the cargo hold has now been denied. I can no longer go there. Didn't go down here before. What, what do we got down here? So maybe I do have to go back to the purser. I guess there's nothing else I can do here. Guess I do need to go to the purser and uh, see if maybe I can convince him to give me a key. Well, so far, you know, convincing people and doing favors have worked pretty well when it comes to people letting me go places that I'm not supposed to go. That's been doing okay. I don't actually see that cabin. Actually, what, 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 that, that, no, not that, not that. There we go. He's right here. Hello? Yes, can I help you? I need to go someplace that I'm not supposed to go. Oh, wait. Go away. I'm too busy. Mr. Isidore Strauss, he's lost a cuffling, and he's so particular. Do we need to find Mr. Strauss's cufflink? I'm sure we can do that. Thank you. It is a gold cufflink. Mr. Strauss will be very grateful. All right, so Strauss is a historical figure. I guess we are going to meet him. Do, where did he drop it, by the way? Yes, can I help you? Um, Find Mr. Strauss's cufflink. We mustn't disappoint the owner of Macy's. Keep searching. Now, where 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 did he drop it? I know I want to know where he dropped it. I can check valuables, store cargo, list passengers, etc. Um, I don't think I need to know about this. I live to serve. I just want to know where any ideas where he might have dropped Glad it. Glad to be of service. Good night. It doesn't seem like he's telling me. All right. Um, where where is he on the on the boat? Maybe he like dropped it near yes, his cabin. Can I help you? Find Mr. Yeah, I didn't get any options Patrick. by clicking this. You I don't mustn't think. Disappoint the owner yeah. of Macy's. Can't disappoint him. Um, all right. Maybe let's just ask where where is he on the ship? Have you a name? Uh, let's see. No. 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 My, where's where's Smethel's at? Where is he? There we go. Mr. and Mrs. Strauss, I certainly couldn't give such information out to someone like you. Eh, uh, okay. I live to serve. No, he doesn't seem like it. That's all then, is it? Good night. Well, it's not going to take much deduction to figure out that Mr. Strauss must be in the Adic cabins. Because where else would he be? Maybe he's hanging out in the first class lounge. Yes. Hey, Smethels. The lounge is closed for the night. We'd open it again only in an emergency. What kind? Which we are not experiencing at the moment. Good night. What kind of emergency would require the lounge? It's a lounging emergency. Yes. Can I just come in? The lounge is eh, all right. for the night. Smethels is, Smethels is very stringent in his duties. He's not going to let us in. Anything else in this hallway? I don't think there is. It doesn't look like it. All right. Anyone in, uh, in the Grand Hall here, by the way? A deck cabins. Doesn't seem like there's anyone else around. What's the A-Deck Promenade? Okay, it's just the outdoors here. Let's uh, walk around the cabins and just see if... see what we can see. Probably knocking on everyone's door isn't what we're supposed to be doing. Well, the Strausses have to be around somewhere.
I just need some I just need something to tell me where I should start looking. And the only th the only thing we know is that we did see Strauss walking around that one deck that one uh, hall where that guy did talk to us and says, "Hey, did you see Strauss?" I'm like, "No. We didn't." I don't think we can open these. So I guess I'll go to that one hallway and see if, um, can I see anything here? It's like anything on the floor? Probably not. I doubt anyone's going to pick anything up. There's a guy walking around, but yeah, we can't talk to him. He disappears. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go to the map, C deck. Actually, no, not C deck. F deck. Hunting for a cufflink for the purser? Glory be. What about your mission? I, I mean, I don't know why you're mad at me. I'm just doing what I have to do. Hunting for a cufflink for the purser? Glory be. What about your mission? Well, she is no help. Anyway, um, this is where that one, yeah, this is where he said he saw Strauss. Haven't seen Mr. Strauss, have you? Nah, looking for him. Where was he sitting, by the way? At the foot of the stairs, with his wife. Let me know if you see him, will you? Like, so right here? Oh, can I look at this? Anything on the floor? No, anything on the floor? Like maybe a cufflink? I don't see anything lying around. I can look at the painting, but I don't think anything would be around here. Oh, hey, look at that. I can turn this on and off. Hmm. He said at the foot of the stairs, and that bench seemed like a pretty good place to look. Oh, they turned back on if I turn them off and then Chris okay. I wonder why that's even there. The cufflink is very small. Like, e even if it was like a round, would I see it? Like, would it be all that obvious? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I would say that's it. Object, cufflink. All right. So, no thanks to Penny. Uh, we found it, and we are heading back to the purser's office. Yes, can I help you? What would you do without me? Wonderful. Mr. Strauss will be quite pleased that I found his cufflink. I shall deliver it at once. I'm just sure his gratitude will be reflected most generously. He's gone. Well... So many keys, and only one of them looks any different. Can I take anything else? I doubt it, but, you know, let's take a look. Look, I didn't actually need the credit for finding it. What I did need are these keys. Car keys. Did I need car keys? D does it mean cargo keys? Because I don't think there's like a car on board the Titanic. I assume this is the keys for the cargo hold? I is there a car in the cargo hold? You wouldn't think so. But does that help me uh, get in the cargo hold? Like, that was the entire reason. Yes, can I help you? Have you lost some keys? No, I guess he, uh, it's, it's yes, actually still back there. You? Glad to be of service. Good night. All right. Uh, let's go back to Penny and t let her know we found some car keys. 
Do you know what I should do with these? Does the purser have some keys that can get you into the cargo hold? Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. And hurry, I've evidenced Zytel's after the painting as well. But well, we knew that. Uh, well, she said something more, so I guess I made progress. Do I bribe someone with these keys? Like, I, there is someone who is guarding the cargo hold. Um, maybe I bribe the person with the keys. That could be. So, I can't get there through here, but there is, like, a door. Yeah, that, that stairwell right there. It's being guarded, so if I get to it, maybe I can bribe the guard. Um... Can I go anywhere from here? There's a Turkish bath, but I don't really want to take a bath. But I don't really need to go here, I don't think. It doesn't look like there's anyone here either. I don't, I don't know, maybe eventually we'll meet someone. Uh, the electric bath, yeah, there's this. We saw this last time. Get on inside. It looks comfy. We haven't had to do anything in the Turkish bath yet, but it looks fancy. All right. Um, I can go up the stairs here, but... That's not really where I want to be. Oh, there's some stairs to F deck there. Let me make my way over to that. Scotland Road? What would that be? All right. That's, this is where I want to be. Hello. A fine night to be indoors, cold as the dickens outside. Cold but clear. Some people like it cold, like the dickens. It's holding, that's like big text emblazoned on it, this is King James Bible. Who are you? Clear as a bell, and the stars, oh you should see a million stars in God's firmament. A congregation of light. The name's Trout, the Reverend Edgar Trout. I'm returning from a mission in Africa, to Sunapee, New Hampshire, where we'll... I mean, I live. Emily, my wife, she's dead. My sympathies. Thank you. We had looked forward to this journey. But she died at Port Sahid. Though it was Nyasaland that killed her, the doctors you know never did find all the parasites. I have seen a first-class passenger, a Mr. Hadelitz, among the steerage class. He's been gambling with the crew and worse. I followed him into third class, on F-deck where he visited the room of an unchaperoned young woman. Scandalous. Tell me more. I will speak to the authorities. Such behavior. It smacks of socialism and unrest. I was wondering. Perhaps you'd care to make a donation to our mission in Nyasaland. No, but maybe you could tell me more about this socialism I've been hearing so much more about. Good evening. All right. So, yeah, I think um, we we were told about the woman on F deck by that one guy who was in the boilers. And maybe we should visit her as well at some point. Socialism. Man, makes my skin crawl. Um, let's see, we want to get to F... Oh, there we go. Alright, so... There... Where do we get to it? Like, I know there's there was a door here somewhere that led to... We came out of the cargo hold, and there was, like, a guy who said, How did you get in there? The, the way we got in there was... Huh, it's like there's nothing else to do here, it seems. We can't go through this door? No. The way we got in there was through the engines, but we can't go through there now. So I'm wondering, how did I get there? Because if we go to G-Deck, like, we're standing above the cargo hold right now, and, like, there are stairs... And it says stairwell. It's raining pretty hard right now. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone. Um, 
So if I go down here, the stairwell it's talking about here is the one that leads up, not down. Huh. Wow, I just went across the entire deck. Hmm. There are more stairs here, but... Can I not go there? Like, I guess there's like a barrier right there. Doesn't seem like I can do anything here, but you know, maybe I should just remember that that's there. Second class leading up, but up oh, leading down as well. F deck. Where am I on F deck? I'm like all the way on this other side. Actually, I'm on the boat deck. According to the map? How am I on boat deck? I went downstairs. And then we're back here, and then she's going to yell at me. Um... We could try going through the engine room again and seeing if maybe I can bribe this guy, but who knows. Thanks for the help of the boss. He don't want no passengers down here. I'd be in a right big mess if he caught you sniffing around. What if I gave you a car? Thanks for the help of the No, boss. he doesn't want the car. He don't want no passengers down here. I'd be in a right big mess if he caught you sniffing around. Right big mess. Hmm. Well. This is odd. Okay, let's think about this logically. Penny said, suggested that I get some keys from the purser that would let me get to the cargo hold. So I went to the purser. The purser said that Strauss had lost his cufflinks. I found the cufflink gave it to the purser. The purser left. That let me grab the keys from behind the, cur the purser. There was only one key I was able to grab, and it was the keys that I'm holding now, these, which it says it's for a car. Does the purser have some keys that can get you into the cargo hold? I guess? Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. And hurry! I, I know about all that. After the painting as well. I've been in the cargo hold. I just can't get back there. Forecastle deck is mentioned on B. Maybe I should try going to B deck. Can I get there from there? Go to the cabins, but I would want to be on this side, I think. Can I exit from here? It doesn't look like it. What about that? No. So let's go out here. Can I get a... No, that's an apartment. 
zoom after Grand Staircase. See, I'm further away from it now. Hello. Anyone? No. They're not. Oh, you look like a real person. But my dear, it's Daisy. Daisy Cashmore. Surely you remember. You a naughty thing. Don't think I didn't know you'd snuck on at Cherbourg. Smethels told me all about it. The old boy's always dripping with news. Heard about Lord and Lady Lambeth. <laughs> Ruined utterly. Scarcely enough left for appearances, I'm told. I always liked Georgia. Married Charles for his name and his fortune, sensible girl. But she's made her nest. Now she must live in it. Well... Do, do I know you? Uh, please tell me more. What do we think? Gorgeous, isn't it? Everyone's raving, gushing. The Titanic couldn't be more fabulous. And the sailing couldn't have been more convenient. Everyone's here. The Astors, the George Wideners, the Countess of Roth, such a wonderful girl. The Strausses, I saw them on D-Deck tonight. The Ryersons, the Henry Harpers. I could just go on and on. And the ship's so very advanced. I was just saying to my dear friends, the Carters, they're bringing back a motor car, do you believe, in the cargo hold. Oh, is that right? The Carter checks it daily. Really, every day he keeps the keys with the purser. And of course they let them. The Carters are fantastically rich. Lucille doesn't understand the attraction at all. With men and machines, I tell her, we girls play second fiddle. Well... Oh, so someone is transporting a car on the Titanic. Would be a shame if you lost those keys. <laughs> Why don't you please continue? My dear, I have a little favor. A tiny, tiny, tiny one. Oh? I would love to. Tonight at dinner, a man I don't know was making eyes at me. Be an absolute darling and find out who he is. I, is that the only thing you have to say? What man are you be talking about? Look him up in the passenger list. All I know are his initials. G Q C. The list's someplace. Find it. I'll wait right here. Ta! Sure. We, I mean, we can do that. Cafe Parisian. Well, let's see. There's the B deck. Anyone in the cafe? Doesn't seem like anyone's here. I mean, it is after hours, after all. Ooh, nice plates. All right. Uh, where are we? We're on B deck. This was the aft grand staircase. We know where we can get to the list of passengers, so I might. Well, I guess we'll take a look at them. Only I'm allowed to access the cargo manifest. What do you want? Certainly. I would never dream of looking at the cargo manifest. Um, let's see. I need As to know where someone is. Dinner reservations, rent deck chairs, the usual shipboard duties. Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. All right. So I need to know about GQC, was it? Well, I mean, we don't know the Conkling's full names. Whoops, I skipped something. Wait, was his name Vlad Demonic? I don't remember. He didn't, say, he didn't tell us what his last name was. But I, is that his full name? Anyway, GQC. Let me check. Aha, uh -huh. Mr. George Quincy Clifford, A27. Thank you very much. I live to serve. Well, this time you actually did help us. That's all then, is it? Good night. All right. So back to the aft grand staircase. Did you get it? Get his name? Sure did. Clifford. Clifford. Never heard of him. You don't suppose he's rich, do you? Could be filthy. You're an angel, and I've news for you, too. While you were gone, Andrew Conkling's been asking for you. Yes, Conkling, the steel baron. 
God knows what he's been doing in Europe, buying it probably. And where was I? Oh yes, Andrew Conkling asked me to pass along this. You know his wife Beatrix, the designer? Such an eye! Her clothes preserve the bust line. Couldn't be more flattering. Keeps the eye moving. Much nicer than Worth's. Hmm, someone's looking for me. You know I don't know if that's a good thing. Designer. Such an eye! Her clothes... They're friends with Captain Smith. Smith! So handsome, so dashing. White Star's best officer. Or was. He's retiring after this voyage. Couldn't be more tragic. My dear, you've blanched. Bad news? Don't know yet. Certainly, certainly. I must... It's Mrs. Bullbank! Consuelo! I wonder if that was true that the captain was scheduled to retire after this voyage. Well, someone's looking for us, and considering why we're on the Titanic, it seems bad that someone would know about us. So let me uh, save this. Alright. And uh, we're going to take a little break. Come back in 10 minutes as we try to digest the information that we have learned. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, let us continue on. So, we have to get to that Scotland Road. Oh, not that. Where was that? It's not on this, this floor, this deck. Yeah, there we go. So, let's get to E-Deck. At the Scotland Road, and uh, is he just going to be like hanging out somewhere? Here's someone. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hello, I'm Conkling. Good of you to come. I trust you're finding the accommodation satisfactory. Well, there are a bit too many people guarding me from places that I want to go to, but I suppose they are. Thanks. You're welcome. White Star's anxious for everyone to be as comfortable as possible, particularly on the maiden voyage. Why did you want to meet here, by the way? Sorry to seem mysterious. You must understand someone in my position, an investor in this ship, needs discretion. It is the better part of valor. You're under no obligation, of course. I have a slight problem. You may be able to help. A servant has stolen an important business document from me, and I must recover it. A few years ago, my wife Beatrix hired a young Irish girl as maid in our London house. We treated her well. Two weeks ago, she up and left without notice, taking a certain letter with her. I'd given up all hope of recovering it, until my wife spotted her this morning on the third-class promenade. Needless to say, I checked with the purser. She'd been scheduled to sail on the Philadelphia. But those passengers were transferred on board the Titanic because of a coal strike. I seem to be getting a bit of a reputation as a problem solver on this ship. Why ask me to do this? Government officials, friends of mine, told me a bureau agent was on board. I found you through Mrs. Cashmore, a preposterous woman. But she does have an eye for accomplishment. Look, will you help me? You will be rewarded handsomely. Handsome rewards are the best kind. I need more information. Her name is Shayla Hacker. She's 20 or thereabouts. I was her benefactor, one might say. Should one perhaps say sugar daddy? Would that be a more appropriate thing to say? Just her benefactor? Um, yes. This puts me in a, um, difficult situation. This young woman... She could cause considerable damage to me, to my reputation, if she goes to the newspapers. What's in the letter? Confidential business matters. Conkling Steel provides steel for ships. This ship, for example. If the contents of the letter were publicized, our competitors would profit greatly. Where's the woman now? I've gotten word to her to meet on the poop deck. Go in my place. Tell her there'll be no trouble if she returns the letter. Afterwards, report to me in our suite, B-59. Her name is Shayla Hacker. Good night. All right, B-59. 
So if I'm, if I'm to tell her that there's going to be no trouble if she returns the letters, that imply that if she doesn't, that there will be trouble? I'm not really here to threaten people, is the thing. Anyway, the poop deck, which is always funny. It's on B. Well, B is where we wanted to go anyway, because we wanted to get to the forecastle deck, but... I guess we're going to the opposite side. To poop deck. Alright, so... Only one direction to go. Whoop. Just see something here. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, I'm still... In this area. Whoop. Poop deck. I see someone down there. Two people. Are you real people? What did I tell you, Shay? Yeah. I knew he'd not come in person. Hush, Jack, hush. Conklin, he did send you, didn't he? Conklin told me to meet with the lady. I told you, it's a trick. I knew Conklin wouldn't come. He sent one of his cronies instead. Are you Miss Hacker's friend? Or I mean, I... That doesn't make sense, because that's like a second question to the first one, but I'm only asking one of these. I'm her brother, and Conklin. Because of him, Shayla's had to leave everything and everyone she knows. Jack, don't. That son of a bitch. She was his maid and all the time violating it. Hush, Jack. I'll have no more of it. Go on, Jack, say it. You tell Conklin we have his letter, and he'll not be seeing it till he coughs up a tidy sum, too. How much money for the letter? Five thousand, do you hear? Dollars. Enough to get her started right in America. And if he moves a hand against us, I'll make sure the newspapers get the letter and print it. So tell Conklin. Five thousand. Measured against what he has, it's a bloody bargain. I must go. Meet us here again. At one, tonight. Five thousand dollars, then he'll get his damn letter, agreed? Well, I don't really have the ability to make this deal, so I guess I'm going to go talk to Conkling. It's your only chance. We'll be waiting for you. All right. What time is it? The time has not been advancing. It is still 1040. Well, all right. What was it, like B55, was it? I think. So we want to go to the cabins. By the way, nice. It's, you know, we're obligated to, say, to, to point it out when it appears. Oh, was it 59? Come in. I'd hoped to meet you earlier. However, my wife and I were calling on the Astors. Madeline's pregnant. Beatrix was thrilled. We have no children. I found Miss Hacker and her brother. I see. It's a ransom. May I present Mrs. Conkling? You should pitch the ungrateful girl overboard. Charmed. Your clothes. French cut. Quite fetching. Delighted to meet you. Beatrix is on her way to California. She's got a new project in... Where is it, dear? A cow town, some place called Los Angeles. I'm doing up a little resort there. It's called the Beverly Hills Hotel. So, where is the Irish tart? Dreaming of her newfound riches? We were just talking about that, darling. My husband and myself extended every courtesy, showed every kindness to Shayla. We've no children. Shayla became quite dear to us. So her theft hurt us all the more for the trust we placed in her. Don't fail us. Now, excuse me. I must retire. I have a frightful headache. Maybe if you took off the hat? It was a pleasure. Good night, Andrew. My wife felt strongly about Shayla. As I've told you, we need no children of our own. Look, 
You must get that letter. Don't wait until tomorrow. See if you can speak to Shayla directly without her brother. She's in the third class cabins forward on F deck, number 59. Good night. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Why do you need me to do this? I'm still not really sure. Anyway, F deck, uh, cabin 59 is where I guess we're going to be going. It's 32. A penny. What do you think about all this? Does the purser have some? Oh right, the cargo the hold. Cargo. Yeah, we're, we're we're in the middle of some passenger drama happening right now. After the painting as well. Um. Let's see. Oh, I can't walk forward. Doesn't seem like it. I could, well, that leads downstairs, right? Yeah. Second class stairs. That's weird. Like I, it's, there's nothing blocking me, but I can't go down here. Um. Oh, maybe third class cabins. Now this leads to the Turkish bath, and there really wasn't any other doors or anything. It didn't seem like it. All right, how do I get to the third class cabins? Um, stairs to F deck. It is nice when they let you teleport to where you want to go. It's just that they don't always let you do that. Okay, third class cabins is probably what we want. 58 and 60. Well, I mean, the one we want is not here. Okay, here we go. Jack, is that you? It is not. I'll be right out. I don't want to wake the baby. Oh. It's not Jack. But we were meeting later. Where's Jack? I want to know about Conkling's letter. Please, I don't want no trouble. I didn't know the letter was so dear. I just wanted to take something, anything that looked valuable. For the baby. It was Jack who read it. Saw it was bad for Mr. Conkling. He said the bit about selling bad steel would ruin him if it was to get out in the papers. Sounds like it would. Tell me about this baby. My baby, Eddie. He's the only reason I stood them last month at the Conklings. I knew Mr. Conklin weren't going to leave his missus. I was only a parlor maid, but I didn't care. I was happy to have his baby. Him and Mrs. Conklin, I thought they were so kind. Until I found out. What did you find out about? Then Mrs. Conklin. Mrs. Conklin was going to steal my baby for her own. Once I had it, she would fire me and take Eddie for herself. She can't have her own babies. So she... So they... They used me to get one. To get Eddie. When I found out that was her plan, I left. I didn't know the letter was anything. I thought it might hold a pound or two. Well, that sounds horrific. But tell me about the steel. Anyway, Jack, he says Mr. Conklin got the letter from an engineer up at the mill. And what did it say? Said the mill's been making bad steel. High in sulfur is what he called it. The steel's no good, and they put it in the Titanic. It'd be a scandal if it got out. That's why Mr. Conklin wants the letter back. But Jack, he says Conklin'll have to pay us to get it. Five thousand dollars. Ha, Mrs. Conklin's probably behind it. All she cares about is a fine name and pots of cash. And a baby. But she won't get Eddie. No, she won't. And if she tries, I'll ruin her. Make her poor as me. Well, good night. <laughs> well, that's Eddie. Bye. Don't forget about our meeting. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but I guess I won't forget about it. Um... Hmm. I wonder if I should report back...
No? I th this was the one, right? B-59? Alright, maybe they're not here. Alright, so I guess we have some things to think about. We're technically on a mission, but we don't really work for Conklin. He's just an important person. We don't have to do what he wants, but it looks like this has been put on hold for right now because he's not here, and I don't. There's really nothing else to talk with uh, Shayla about. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should think about our actual mission, which is to get into this cargo hold. Uh, let me see. I, we should probably see if we can just do that. We wanted to get to the forecastle deck, so let's see. B deck cabins. No, that's the other way. Can I get to there from here? I can go to the cabins. That's not really what I want. Do you know how I could get to the forecastle deck? Hello. Where to? Righty, I know every nook and cranny. Uh, let's see, Grant. No? No. Yes. From the A deck promenade, walk forward to the bow. Take the stairs down to forward B deck. Go down again to the well deck. Walk forward and take the stairs to the ship's bow. That's the forecastle deck. May I take you somewhere? So I have to start from A deck? Find the gate. Did you attend a party last night on day deck? Seen the Lady Georgia, did you? Notice I did not. those diamonds round her neck. A bloke will be set up with those. And her. Pity she's unhappy. Her husband always arguing with her, like just now. Almost there. Hmm. Now maybe we should meet up with her at some point. Alright, well, I don't really remember what the instructions were, but we did need to start from A deck and take stairs down. Sometimes it just lets us stop in the middle of some place. It doesn't seem like there's anything here. Okay, here's some stairs. Forecastle deck. All right, so are we here? Looks like it. All right, the reason I was trying to get here is because Penny reminded us that the, the cargo hold is underneath the forecastle deck. So can we get to the cargo hold from here is the question. Oh, what did that call this? Hold on. Uh, yeah, forecastle deck. All right, let's have a look around. Anything we can click on? Two car. Oh, okay, it says it right there. Uh, is someone gonna stop me from going in here? So far, n no. Okay, I'm just in here now. All right. The reason I wanted to come in here, two cargo hold. Is there somewhere else, somewhere else I can go? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, you were the person who was guarding this. Do I bribe you or something? Nobody's allowed to. You've got the keys. You're a carter. Of course you can enter. Right this way. Come to visit your new automobile, have you? <laughs> Can't say I blame you. She's a beauty, gleaming like a new penny. Right this way. Uh, mind your head, it's dark in there. That's exactly right. From here. That's exactly right. I, it's my car. Um, I just can't get enough of the car. I want to sit in the car and pretend that I'm driving it and just say... Vroom, vroom, and just, like, make sounds like that. Because I can't actually drive it myself since we're at sea. But that's what I want to do. All right, so we're in... Cargo. Okay, here's some doors. All right, all right. Um, ooh, am I gonna have to actually? I remember the name of the thing, but the 
There's like going to be a lot of stuff to look at. Gonna have to try to find the one particular crate that has the thing we need. Hopefully it just has like the name on it. Like some of them do. Ooh, blankets. I hope it's very clear when we see it. Well, here's the car anyway. Yeah, just gonna turn the headlights on. Pretend that I'm driving it. Gonna leave the headlights on and just drain the battery. Why not? Oh. We found the frame, but the painting's not here. The painting is gone. Well, damn. Penny is not gonna like this. I wonder if there's anything else around we could look at. Oh, I think we already burned this one. No, I guess that's it. Don't blame you for seeing after your automobile. Man's got to protect his investments. You're the second passenger tonight who wanted to get in here. A young German gentleman. He came here not long before you did. Only he weren't looking at no motor car. He wanted to get a painting. Got it too. Carted it off somewhere. Blooming art lovers. Well, good night. It's a right honour to help one of the carters. Hmm. Well, things are not going so well. Oh, we can't teleport from here. Let's go outside. Now I can teleport. All right, let's give Penny the bad news. Did you get the painting? No, it wasn't in the crate. Blast. Someone got there before you. If only you'd been faster. Hey, I had things to that do. Snooty steward Smethels was looking for you. Find him and kick him smartly in the shins. Here's a message for you. Hmm? Did I get a message? I don't have a message. Did you get the painting? We've been through this. All right. Um, well, if I wonder if I did that faster, if I would have gotten the painting. I don't know. Uh, well, if I want to talk to Smethels, I can do that. Just got to go back to my apartment. My cabin. Oh, wait, no, he's right here. There he is. Still wondering? This ship holds a strange fascination for you. Most peculiar. I have a message from a young German gentleman by the name of Haderlitz. He would like to meet you in the squash court. They've opened it for him. Highly irregular, I must say. Especially for fencing. The German gentleman, is he alone? Surely he is. The percentage of passengers demanding the courts late on a Sunday night is small. Minuscule, actually. Did you say fencing? Yes. Apparently he does not favor racket sports. How do I get to the squash court from here? If memory serves me, there is an entrance to the squash courts on D-Deck. Meanwhile, I shall inform the young German gentleman that you will meet him presently. Fencing, you say? I wonder if he will demand to fence us for ownership of the painting D-Deck. Uh, can I see the squash courts? I don't see... I don't think I see the name of it here. Let me just take a look around on this. Squash court entrance on D deck, so it's like on the, it's by the back here. Um, where is that over? It's like there's a stairwell right there. So I guess we're gonna go somewhere around here. 
Let me um just save before I speak to the German gentleman who has a love of fencing and has the painting that we need. Where's this guy? Anything new to say? You seen Hadelitz's gal, Clarice Limehouse? She must have a cabin on D-Deck, near reception. And could I receive her in a New York minute? <whistles> Willie's girl's got some class to her. Main line all the way. Where did you say that room was? Somewhere's on D-Deck. Willie came by here earlier. Good night. Well, if he's if Hatterlitz is with someone, maybe I should talk to her before speaking with Hatterlitz. D deck by reception. We're in reception. So maybe we want to go to the cabins. Of course, we don't actually know. Which cat? What? Not that one. We don't actually know which cabin she would be in. Just like it's probably going to be one that's near reception. Well, not any of those, it seems. door the only one that actually goes to the cabins? Maybe so. Yeah. That's, oh, that's the E-deck. Yeah, I guess that's the. This one doesn't let me go through, I guess. So I guess this is the only one that does. Let me go around up to the other side. I can't actually go any further. Oh, wait. That, that advance? Yeah. Ten minutes have passed. Well, that's a squash court. Before we do that. I checked these, I checked these, did not check these yet. <laughs> the men on board the Titanic, so extravagant, don't you think? <laughs> and so handsome. A German boy, he gave me this rose. I'm Clarice Limehouse. Everyone's gone to bed early tonight, is it because it's so cold? Oh, it's late. I should go. Wait, miss. I must go. Bye. But... Everyone's gone to bed early tonight. Is it because it's so cold? I'm looking for Willie, the German boy. Oh, it's late. I should go. Don't go. I must go. Bye. But... Everyone's gone to bed early tonight. Is it because it's so cold? I'm looking for Willie, the German boy. Oh, it's late. I should go. Do you know the Conkling's cabin? The Conkling suite. It's B-59. Bye. Actually, I don't know why I asked her about that. I must go. Bye. I didn't, th I didn't think she had anything to do with the Conkling's storyline. Well, anyway, uh, Squash Court is here. Thank you for coming. I do not meet so many people on the Titanic. It is a pity. I like the English. I wish I knew more of them. Now you have the opportunity of fencing with me. Three-time champion of my university. You are also an excellent athlete, yes? 
Colonel Seitel believes it so. Hmm. So we are going to fence him. Uh, the Colonel is correct. I'm an excellent fencer. The Colonel is very seldom confused about anything. You will play. If you win, perhaps I relate to you some stories. My foil, please. En garde. All right. Um, Allez, touche. I do not know how to play the fencing. Allez. Okay, it's mouse controlled. Allons-y. Touche. Mm. Allez. Et là. Allons-y. Et là. Well, that did not go so well. You are the loser. How unfortunate. The Titanic, how quickly she is moving. The engines are loud here. We are nearing the Grand Banks. The Vikings thought this part of the North Atlantic cursed. Even modern sailors call it the Devil's Hole, a place of deadly surprises. <laughs> Things aren't always what they seem, yes? Like me, for example, I am German. But I am also a friend to others, perhaps even the English. Another match? Afterwards, we can tell more tales. Another match? Yes, I'll fence. On guard. All right, so I hit start. It does not seem like the keyboard does anything. It just seems like clicking with the mouse can do things. Oh, oh, I got him. Clicking the mouse like mad seems like it is what I'm supposed to be doing here. Just like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Oh, click start. Just keep clicking non-stop. Just overwhelm him with my with my aggression. Just like in most things in life, you can win through aggression. You, you fence well. You are a great athlete. Thank you. My mouse finger is quite fast. I'd like to know more about you. You do? Remember, only one thing is certain. And the rest is lies. <laughs> it is a quote from an old book I had the recent opportunity to read. But I tell you more. I am associate professor at the University of Vienna. I document the mythos, the legends of mankind. I, I'm on my way to New Mexico to study the Yoni Indians under Dr. Van der Plaars. Ooh, tell me more. I am interested in what Dr. Freud calls the unconscious mind. What happens below the surface of experience. Tell me, what frightens you more? Fire or ice? Fire is life. Fire is energy. Fire is heat, and heat is needed for life to continue. Ice is stagnation. It is death. The absence of life. The ancient Aryans believed men would see four ages. According to them, this is now the Wolf Age, an age that ends with ice. Perhaps we of science might learn from it. They say the ice is heavy in the Labrador currents this year. Well, I'm sure we won't encounter anything like that. Tell me about Zeidel's interest in art and maybe stolen paintings. Why do you assume he is interested in paintings? I said art, not paintings. Yes, yes, art. That is what I meant. And, and, and you are mistaken. Colonel Seitel cares little for art, unlike his friend Herr Barbicon. I notice he likes old Vienna, for he has many pictures of the city. If the fire comes, my friends will favor the English over Germany. Another match? Yeah, offense. Now that I know the strategy. So far, this has had a 100% success rate. Good. 
Touché. Oh no, he got me. He oh, he overcome my he overcame my aggro. Oh, now he's getting aggressive. I don't Mm. He's coming back. But but it's over. It ended how it had to. You are a great athlete. Take this in friendship. May it bring you luck. A thing I fear we shall all need. But if anything should happen to me, I trust you will know what to do. <laughs> Very good. You have proven yourself, and I must confide in you. Colonel Seidler suspects I fail my friends more than Germany. He's right. Another match? What did you give me? But sure, I'll, I'll do another match. On guard. He said he gave me something. But I have not had the opportunity to look at my inventory. Sehr gut. Touche. Hmm. You, you fence well? Another match? No, I think that's enough. Unless you wanted to spend more time talking about the Devil's Hole, but I don't think you do. So I've got to go. Let us meet later. I will tell you more. For now, keep the ring. I bid you good night. And time passes. All right, I got it. Okay, he gave us his ring. Are we dating now? Object ring. There's like a, a star on it and something written on the inside. I wanted to ask him about the painting he stole, but I assume he gave it to Zytel, and Zytel might have given it to, um, I forget the other guy's name, but I think that we can assume that's where those are. Let's just, uh, we'll just save now that we have overcome the fencing challenge. All right. First thing, let's see what Penny has to say about this ring. You know, Penny's... I'm, I'm just going to say, Penny's been pretty critical about her performance, but it doesn't seem like she's actually left her apartment. That's all I'm going to say. What did our young Mr. Hadelitz want? Um, well, he gave me this ring. Hadelitz's ring? Maybe Trask can tell you more about it. Ah, the psychic, yes. Hadelitz said that he is in danger. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. And Zytel might suspect him. Hmm... Their partnership appears to be dissolving. Who else knows young Hadelitz? Talk to anyone who may have seen him. Okay, I know someone. Finally, you're on the right trail. Follow those leads. Finally, she says. All right, um... Let's talk to... I say, how are you getting on? I didn't mean you. We use gangplanks, if I remember. Quick as a cow, she is. Seen Guggenheim about. Such a gentleman, extremely attentive to the ladies. Especially his mistress. They say he stashed her on board somewhere. Really, Henry? Not Mr. Guggenheim? The Titanic's not a damned rectory, you know. But Henry? Quite the randy old goat from what I hear. My goodness, I've forgotten completely. I have a message for you. Mr. Trask in D2 said you were to meet him where honor and glory crown time. Where honor and glory crown time? What do you think he meant? I'm not in the mood for Mr. Trask's riddles. Good night. Good night. For honor and glory crown time. So he's not going to be where he usually is. I have to find him. Hadowitz's gal, the blonde, Clarice Limehouse. 
Classy. You think I got a chance with her? Uh, look, I was just face to face with Hatterlitz, and I don't, I don't think you are competition for him. Yeah, well, if you see it, tell us she's wasting her time spooning with that crazy Kraut kid. Me, Max, the styling Spruce Street Sharpie. I'd take care of her like a princess, a regular princess. Tell her, would you? Good night. I'll be sure to tell her. All right, let's get to the D apartments. Um, let's see. It was was it the third one down? Might have been. Yeah. Yes. You want something? Do you recognize this ring? It's Willie's ring. Willie, what's happened? Something bad, hasn't it? Something to Willie. He told me if I ever received this ring, I was to know that whoever gave it to me was a friend and to tell them about the notebook, that they should find it. What kind of notebook? Willie's hidden a notebook on board. That's all I know. Now, what about Willie? Is he hurt? He may be in danger. Oh. He told me jokes. Bad ones, but he made me laugh. Not like Mama's friends. Mama, she doesn't like Germans, unless they've a title to their name. But I like Willie. A lot. May I have it? The ring? Uh, hmm. Should I give mm -hmm. I I don't know if I should give it to her. I probably need to find out what's happened first. Yes. Yes, of course you need it. Please. Willie's in trouble. Please help him if you can. Look, we all love Willie, and we don't want to we don't want to see anything happen to him. Okay, so I don't know what I need this ring for, but I probably should keep it on me. Um, Trask. Uh, I'm trying... Let's look at the names of the things on the ship. Can we think of anything that it would refer to? His little riddle. Where honor and something crown time. It was something like that. Just glancing at uh, at my 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 spy sources. Of course, I do have. I'm a spy. I have a large informa information network, and it was implying that maybe the grand staircase is where honor and glory crown time. So we're just going to try that. Is there a big clock in here somewhere? Okay, okay yeah. There is an elaborate clock here. I can get closer to it. I can continue to get closer to it. No, that's as close as I can get. Why can I get, like, so close to it? And, I, like, that's all it does. All right, Trask. Are you hanging out around here? Or do I need to solve some kind of puzzle? Why do I why can't I click on it so many times? Like that's as close as I can get. It doesn't seem like clicking on anything else happens, does anything. Hmm. I mean, we found an elaborate clock, so that seems kind of likely that this is what it was referring to. But, um... Is there any... Can we click on anything else here? Can I click on that? Yeah, I can zoom in on this, too. Doesn't seem to do anything. Is there any clues we can get from 
this thing right here. We can look at the clock. We have like two angels, whatever they are. We have like f f uh, reels of film up there. would be referring to. Let me think about what it is that we have to do. Penny suggested that we find Trask to give us a description of the ring. We spoke to, to Claire Limehouse, who was concerned about Hatterlids being in trouble. Uh, I don't think there was really anything else that came from that. We know that Zytel and maybe, I'm, should we look for Zytel and that other guy to see if maybe they have the painting? That could be something we could try, and if we were going to do that, we probably should go to the purser's office. Let's just take a look around. Just to see if maybe Trask is hanging out somewhere. Really? I find it the height of drudgery to track you about this ship. Are you following these medals? Your constant meanderings make it difficult for me to attend my other charges. Miss Pringle insists that you see her immediately in her cabin. You two are thicker than thieves, and Larson is probably what you're up to. <clears throat> Do go see Miss Pringle. Hmm. She wants to see me? Well, we, we, just, we did talk to her... Not that long ago, but maybe she wants to talk to me again. Uh, let me just first go talk to the purser and see if I can get any information from, uh, from him. Yes, can I help you? As purser, I arrange dinner reservations. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, let's see, passenger list. Have you a name? Zytel. The Colonel is in cabin C-59. All right, so that is one that we want. Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Barbican was the other. Mr. Barbican, try cabin A-14. So A-14. Have you a name? If you do, I, I can We should write this down cabin. somewhere. So we got A-14... And F-59. I live to serve. By the way, a Miss Pringle left word that you were to meet her immediately in cabin F-34. We really don't condone this sort of thing. Not on an English ship. Oh, please. You know how many people are doing the horizontal tango right now? In many beds... And maybe not even in beds, maybe in like on like tables or countertops on the ship right now. I know it's scandalous. Quickly, there's not much time. Willie Hadelitz is dead, electrocuted in the Turkish bath. I heard one of the officers talking about it. This may not have been an accident. Apparently, someone wants that painting badly enough to kill for it. Do you have it? Not Willie. Not Willie! Hmm, I don't. Not doing so well, are you? Someone must have taken the painting before you got there. Apparently, it was Willie who took it. Young Hadelitz, a Zaris spy? It's beginning to become clear. Quite possibly. We need more information about the murder. A notebook. 
Zeitl's previous mission was aiding a band of Russian revolutionaries called Bolsheviks who want to overthrow the Tsar. The Germans would like nothing better than to see chaos in Russia. I'll bet that notebook's got names of Russian radicals. Such a list would be very important to the Okhrana, the Russian secret police. With it, they'd root out the Bolshevik ringleaders and eliminate a threat to the Tsar, which would certainly help the rest of us. Your subtitles just catching up right there? What do I do now? If Haderlitz was murdered, you'll need protection. Here, this pen releases a single burst of knockout gas when opened. Awesome! Find that notebook. It could be vitally important. Go investigate the situation at the Turkish bath. Move. We got a spy device. Mm-hmm. No one would see it coming. All right, let's save the game. All right, so Willie's dead. F-59, that would be in the third class cabins. Um, I would need to do go here to get to there. So let's see if we can visit his cabin. Please. Oh wait, no, that wasn't her. That was Good night. Yeah. That was her. Right. It, it was not uh that wasn't his number. That's right. Or was that C-59? Speaking of which, what's the time? It's 11.15. We're supposed to talk with her again at 1 o'clock, but uh, it's a long way to go before we get there. coming out of there. Um, the other guy is in A deck, but who knows if we'd actually get to talk to him. Oh, what are you doing here? Can you feel it? The air has changed. It's clammy, cold, like the ice caves in the Eiger. But you're not here about climatology. What do you want? What was the deal with that riddle from before? Can you tell me more about Willy von Aderlitz? I don't think his death was an accident. He has double-crossed the colonel. That may help you. Why do you think the ship's in danger? The Titanic was never christened. Very bad luck for a ship. They say that when building her, a worker was entombed in the hull. And though we've 2,000 on board, the Titanic is only half full. The world's wealthiest men, Henry Clay Frick, J.P. Morgan, the Vanderbilts, canceled the trip. They know when to listen to their gut. The vibrations of the astral plane are quite strong. Whatever happens will be quite interesting. Ah, if you say so. I'd like you to do a reading of something. Do a reading of this ring. I see your friend, Willy von Hederditz. He is in very great danger. The ring. Yes, did, did you notice the Russian characters on the inside band? Willy has a hidden life. Good luck. Hmm, I wonder if I had been able to talk to him before Willie died, would I, be, would I have been able to save him? Because it, it did tell us, he, like what we just saw him, saw right there, was him being killed in the electric bath. So if we had found out about that, I wonder if we could have uh, rescued him. A gas pin, how clever. Don't point it at me. Do I need to point it at you? Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. All right, um, I guess let's go to the scene of the crime, which was uh, 
Turkish bath. Hello? Most regrettable. Most regrettable indeed. The young German gentleman, dead. In the electric bath. Quite unanticipated. He was alive. Most vocally, too. Just a few hours before, arguing with someone on B-deck. Who was the other person? The gentleman's voice was unfamiliar. What was the argument about? About a painting. He'd misplaced it. And the other gentleman wanted to know where it was. Hmm, so maybe that means no one knows where the painting is now. Is Hader it's still in the electric bath? Yes, I believe Dr. O'Loughlin is waiting to move him, so as not to alarm the other passengers. It is, I must warn you, a most unpleasant sight. Thank you, Smethels. Very good. This is most irregular. No, I know. Most irregular indeed. What have you heard? Anything? Tell me. Well, this is the guy we made friends with before. I know Haderlitz is dead. You knew him? Look. Don't breathe a word to anyone. We were... close. What will you do? Do? Bloody well nothing. Not till New York. The rest of the passengers must not be alarmed. Ismay is going to raise hell when he hears. And I thought this would be an easy trip. Did anyone see anything? Talk to Smethers, his steward. Say the man came down here after using the squash courts. Is the wireless available? Yes, yes. But be careful what you send. We don't need any scandals. Hmm. What would I send? Mind if I look around? Be my guest. Mind you, it's not pretty. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right, let's check out a dead body. Oh, poor Willie. And many knots unraveled by the road. I'm keeping that. Anything else to click on? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Well, I get, maybe let's just go back to Trask and uh, see if he has anything to say about that. Hey, you want to look at this? What now? Another clue? Possibly. Certainly. Hmm, a passage from the Rubiot. Many knots unravel could mean a rope. Complete the rest of the verse and you'll find your answer. Good luck. Good night. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Well, we know where the book is. Yes, can I help you? I need something back from your safe. What can I do for you? I need the book. Thank you. I shall return with your valuables in a moment. Your book. Now, I had to move Mrs. Brown's Egyptian statues to get it. Good night. That's all then, is it? Good night. All right. Let's have a look. All right, so... Many knots being unraveled. There you go, okay. Up from Earth's center through the seventh gate I rose, and on the throne of Saturn sate, and many knots unraveled by the road, but not the knot of human death and fate. Verse number 31. Um, the knot of human death and fate. Hmm. 
on the throne of Saturn, Sate. So what might this be referring to? We'll have to think about it, I suppose. Uh, maybe we should just give it back to the purser. Yes, can I help you? Very nice. Security is our first priority. I'll put it in the safe. Glad to be of service. Good night. So, we did see that one rope. I'm trying to remember what deck we were on where we saw that. Because we've been around, you know? We've been we've been looking around. Possibly E deck. Yeah, that, that's where that is. Still can't click on anything here, though. So, I don't know. At, oh, hey, hello. Christ almighty wonder. You have a face ache, ain't you? Roaming the ship, poking your nose into everyone's business. You, do you just call me a face ache? Because that is a pretty good insult, and I've never heard that before. I'm looking for a clue. Just who do you take me for now? One of those la -da millionaires up top. Jack Hacker keeps his word, honors his promises. When I saw you come in, I says to myself, they'll be wanting to know about him. The foreign gentleman, German I suspect, a rabbity nervous type he was too. Give me a bob and told me to tell whoever asked to repeat a phrase word for word. You want to hear it now? Please. But still the vine her ancient ruby yields. And still a garden by the water blows. Yeah, that's it. Here, he wrote it down. Is that from the book as well? What's it mean anyway? Some rich man's game you play. You can have it. Just tell Conklin we want the money tonight. Is it look it sounds like a verse from the book. All right, let's go talk to Trask. What now? Another clue? Aha, the ruby out again. But still the vine her ancient ruby yields. Hmm, what's red and old? Still a garden by the water plows. Still a garden by the water plows. We're, we're on the water, obviously. And a garden means plants. Where's there a profusion of greenery on board? Figure it out. I like that description. A profusion of greenery. I'll be here if you need me. All right, where can we find a profusion of greenery, do you think? I mean, what are they smoking in the smoke room? Maybe you got a profusion of greenery in there? It's possible. think of where we'd find some profusion but you know it is getting a little late even though i am having a good time getting too tired makes the brain work slow 
friends. What is this becoming? A scavenger hunt at a country house party? Remember, the important thing's the notebook. Find it. Well, yeah, but someone is leaving me clues. Do you know where there's a profusion of greenery? Because apparently that's where I'm supposed to be looking. Um, but who who is leaving this trail of clues for me to find? And will it lead to the notebook? We don't know. But what I do know is that the time is 11.15. It's probably time to save our game. And probably time to say goodnight for right now. Um, as we have been continuing on our spy mission on the Titanic. As unfortunately, pure, Willie, pure William, uh, that beautiful boy, has been murdered in the, Tur in, in the electric bath. Electrocuted in the electric bath. Such a shame. And we have his ring. Um... We're looking for his notebook. He stole the painting, but we don't know where he put it. And from what we heard, it sounds like no one else does either. So the painting is somewhere on board. And we need to find it. And we don't really know why. But we also need to find the notebook. And someone is leaving us clues from the Ruby Yacht. We don't know who that was doing that. We also have this subplot about the Conklings. And how... Uh, they want their note back that says that they're making bad quality steel. But the people who have it want $5,000. And who knows who's going to win that conflict. Maybe we will resolve it somehow. Um, so what, we need, what we're going to need to do f next time is we are going to need to find out where the profusion of greenery is. And I guess that's going to be our next clue. Um, but tragedy has struck on the Titanic as, uh, as there has been a murder and we were not able to stop it. Well, that's just how it went. Next time, we will continue on our spy adventure. Like the notebook, I'm not still not sure why we want this painting. The notebook is something concrete because it has the names of, what did they say, revolutionaries? Um and maybe the Russian government would like to have their hands on that notebook, but I'm still not really sure why the German High Command wants that painting. But we still haven't found it yet. We still have not found it yet. Will we find it before the Titanic sinks? Who can say? Maybe we'll find out next time as we play some more Titanic adventure out of time. We'll see you then.